What's up, Javi Lobby? It's your boy, Javi, 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 Show. Make sure you say it twice. I need y'all to help me with this one. I really do, because I'm trying to understand, and hopefully, I'm going to work through, through these thoughts on this rapper, Jim Jones, at the Gucci store. And let's just say <laughs> racism, everybody. Racism. And I want y'all to help me with where's the racism in this. So, Stay tuned. One in a million, a million, the one villain. Too hot to be in the kitchen. I'll end up melting the ceiling. All right, before I jump into this, just want to say thank all of y'all for joining the Hobby Lobby. It's been so many, and look, I'm honored and I'm just so excited to see so many proud Americans coming together and standing for something worth standing for. And I appreciate that. And all of the love is just it's just highly appreciated. Thank y'all so much. Now, this guy, Jim Jones, is a rapper. Uh, he's a very famous rapper. Um, he's been rapping for a very long time, and he has a lot of popular songs. I'm not so sure he's as popular as he once was, but my boy decided to go into the Gucci store, the Gucci store, everybody, and apparently he went all VIP and things of that sort, but I'm going to play this video, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I'm hoping that y'all can help me point out where is the racism in this whole scenario and situation. Let's get it. We've been in Gucci for about an hour, right? And we in Gucci in the VIP. We've been in Gucci like two hours. Right? About two hours. <laughs> First off, let me say, you've been in Gucci. You've been in Gucci for about two hours in VIP. What, what, what are we upset about? Like, I can't go on to the Gucci store and be there for an hour, two hours, let alone get VIP. So, uh, okay, let's see where this goes. Right? And we in Gucci in the VIP. We were in Gucci like two hours. Two hours. Right? Since we came in here, having nobody came and showed us no courtesy, no amenities, no nothing. Period. Not even a drink of water. Ask to speak to the manager. Send me a black guy out here to start telling me some bullshit. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm, I'm taking this lighthearted because, honestly, this is a joke, right? Uh, I, I consider it to be a joke. Nothing serious. No, this is not a need for alarm in the in the country or anything of that sort. But every time something like this happens and the person immediately jumps to race, it's, it, it, it can't be that the people there are having a bad day, they're pieces of crap, or they just are not doing their job properly. Uh, it, it instantly jumps to racism. Now, I understand. I understand. If you're somewhere spending your money, you're, you're going to a place of business to spend your money. And you expect, I mean, I would, at the bare minimum, for the customer service to be top tier. You, you, you expect the customer service to at least be friendly, kindly, answer your questions, you know, respond to your needs. That's the bare minimum. So I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with him there, you know. You should be getting good service, especially if you're going to a place to spend a lot of money. But I wonder what he's spending all that money on. Ask to speak to the manager. Send me a black guy out here to start telling me some bullshit. So they got the black guy racial profiling on black people. There it is. They got the black guy racial racially profiling on black people. What does that even mean? Racially profiling on black people. First of all, racial profiling is picking somebody out specifically because of their race and singling them out. That's not racially profiling. If if you ask for help and they went in the back and got somebody to help you and that person happens to be black, that's not racially profiling. It's not. You're not walking through the airport and the TSA decided to pick you out of the line and choose you because you're black. That's racially profiling. Oh, he's black, therefore he must be a prime target or a suspect to be doing something wrong. That's racially profiling. This is not racial profiling. And it, it, it kills me. A black guy out here that start telling me some bullshit. And maybe that black guy knows you. May, maybe he's a fan of your music. Maybe he's more familiar with, you know, what type of person you are. Maybe he has more in common with you. They say, hey, he's like, uh, Jim Jones is out there. And, you know, we know that's, that's your dude. Go, go holler at Jim Jones or whatever. Or maybe he's asking for something that that guy is more familiar with. You, you, you jump into all of these uh, assumptions that there's no need to. Ask to speak to the manager. Send me a black guy out here to start telling me some bullshit. So they got the black guy racial profiling on black people. Ask to speak to a manager bigger than him. 
Everybody disappeared. Ain't nobody come out yet. I still ain't getting. I still ain't getting. Now, oftentimes you try to figure out: Is there more to the story here? And he might be telling the truth. He might be telling the truth, right? I, I do think that they should offer great customer service. If you have a customer there and they need your attention, you should give them that attention. There are stores that I no longer shop at because when I go there, the the customer service is not that good. So I decided I won't patronize that business, and that just comes with the free market and you being able to decide where you spend your money and where you don't spend your money. But, you know, making it a race thing. I, I don't help me, help me see what I'm seeing it, right in the comment section. Do you see what the racism or any racial profiling has come in? Cause you're bigger than him. Everybody disappeared. Ain't nobody come out yet. I still ain't getting, I still ain't getting no sparkling water. And then you're there with a whole bunch of dudes. I don't know if one of those dudes said something. I don't know if y'all are intimidating. I really don't know. And, it could have been none of that. You probably went there, decided that you wanted to spend your money that day. You got all your friends and y'all friends came up there, your security, whoever it is. Y'all came up there to spend some money and have a good time. Perfectly fine. Could be the case. And they just didn't give you great customer service. But so far, where's the racism? I still ain't getting no champagne. I still ain't getting nothing. They won, they won. I didn't have a salesperson inside of my VIP suite the whole time I was there. I had to keep screaming for VIP people to help me out. I didn't even know Gucci had a VIP suite. I didn't even know there was VIP. Like the amount of money and uh, that this man has, this is the thing they get upset about. Here is a, a wealthy black individual. I don't know Jim Jones' financial circumstances, but I know that he has enough money to go into the Gucci store for hours to spend mad money. Not Helping the kids, not, you know, investing in books in school, not, you know, and maybe he does those things. But at this time, he wants to spend the the, the, the video on here says after spending one hundred thousand dollars. I'm not sure if that's true or not. He didn't make that claim in the video, but to spend twenty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. Any amount of thousands of dollars on jury. What are you complaining about, let alone talking about racism? I just, I, I'm, I just have to inside of my VIP suite the whole time I was there. I had to keep screaming for VIP people to help me out. Now everybody don't know where the real manager is. You heard? Leave, leave. That's what. If you go to a business and they're not giving you the things that you need, leave. Go somewhere else. You don't have to jump on your camera and claim racism. You do not have to do this. But you know why they do this, right? Every time they feel mistreated or somebody didn't treat them the way that they wanted to be treated, it must be racism. Why is that? What makes a person mind instantly jump to racism? And I'll tell you why. The reason is because it sells. That's how you get the attention. Oh, look at me. I'm the victim. Even though I'm a rich, successful black man with all of these hundreds of thousands of dollars around my neck, I am still a black man in America. Because I need the black people in this country to sympathize with me. Because I'm still a man of the people. They're so out of touch. They're out of touch. I'm screaming for VIP. And I want y'all to stay tuned because uh, right after this video, I'm going to go to the response. Uh, people decided to go, they backlashed against him, saying that he should shop at black-owned businesses. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what he said. I have a salesperson inside of my VIP suite the whole time I was there. I had to keep screaming for VIP people to help me out. Now everybody don't know where the real manager is. You heard? It's it's time. I'm tired of this. We spending all this money as entertainers inside these stores. They hire these black people, and these black people are more racist than white people when they get their job. Here it is. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Listen, listen. They hire these black people, and these black people are more racist than the white people. In what world, and what evidence do you have that this is racism? What incentive do the black people who work for Gucci have to mistreating you? Last time I checked, the better they treat you, the more money you're probably going to spend. Hell, if I was selling candles and you came into my store and I knew that you had the amount of income that you have, I would do everything above and beyond to try to get you to spend as much money on my candle business. Maybe there is something here. I don't know, but I guarantee you this is not the full story.
I can guarantee you. And even if you want to say this is the full story, I guarantee you that there is no evidence to prove that this is racism, especially black on black racism. Seriously? This this is a call for attention. Black people and these black people are more racist than white people when they get their job inside of Gucci. All of a sudden, you, you stop playing with us, bro. Still haven't seen a manager yet. Still haven't seen a manager yet. Since I'm talking to you right now, a manager still hasn't popped out of Gucci. So he's walking around Gucci right now, screaming into his phone. His homeboys are standing around all mobbed up and things of that sort. Still, the manager hasn't come out, right? But he said that they sent uh, one of the black employees out there to talk to him. Apparently, he didn't want to talk to that black employee. He wanted somebody higher than them. I'm not sure the person higher than them is actually in the store. Um, usually, the people who are higher up, they usually have like a general manager or a manager. And I'm not even familiar with the way Gucci operates. But in, in general, there's usually uh, the salespeople. And then you have a, a, a probably a manager and a manager above that person, something of that sort. We still don't know. If the, the manager on site is even there. So it may not even be that. It may just be that that person isn't there or they're making their way there. Or maybe they was in the middle of an important call. We don't know. But gosh, the, 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 the leap of logic here that this is discrimination against me because I'm black. Yes, yeah, since I'm talking to you right now, manager still hasn't popped out of Gucci. And the bill is like 29000 but we didn't pay that yet. You heard? Why would we? They still haven't sent a manager or bottle of sparkling water or anything that says that we appreciate your service for being in here in Gucci. $29,000 in jury. And I'm not even sure if it's jury. It could be other things. $29,000 on the bill. And here we are marching up and down Gucci complaining about racism. <sighs> If racism is the if racism is so prevalent in this country, it's doing a horrible job at keeping the black man down. <laughs> the, the the black man who has twenty nine thousand dollars at the Gucci store on his tab, who already looks to be having thousands of dollars around his neck at the current moment of him making this video, with a whole bunch of dudes who probably have either almost the same amount of jewelry, if not the same. This is racism, everybody. This is the country that we're living in. Woe is the black man, successful black man. You are still living in the most racist place you can possibly find, where racism is everywhere, and it will find your, it will rear its ugly head wherever you may go, even the Gucci store, where most people don't have the privilege to go shop and spend $29,000, everybody. You can't make this up. Or, or anything that says that we appreciate your service for being in here and Gucci. But ultimately, I agree with him. Not about the racism, but I agree in, in a general sense. Yes, I agree. If I'm coming to spend money at your establishment, especially if I'm spending a lot of money, I expect great treatment. He should have got that water, <laughs> sparkling water. He should have got that champagne or whatever it is. He VIP. He should be treated great. I don't deny that at all. I don't. But instead of marching up and down and complaining about it, just go spend your money somewhere else. Don't give Gucci your money. And of course, you should be able to complain about it. But I still don't see the racism. And that's what I'm focused on. If y'all see the racism, let me know. Or anything that says that we appreciate your service for being in here and Gucci and spending that bag. The big one. The big one. They said this guy. Yeah, no. What is he possibly going to do? <laughs> you heard? Damn. What is he going to do? See, that's a threat. It's not like an overt threat. Like, oh, we're going to F you up or we're going to do something to you. It's more like he ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to continuously to march up and down here. I'm going to continuously make my claim known. He got his homeboys around laughing like he ain't going to do nothing. They are sending the message to that guy. You better not jump stupid because we're going to handle you and we're going to take. That is no way to handle a business disagreement. That is no way to handle any place of business, especially when you have not been threatened. Come on. That's why I tell you, money don't solve your problems. Money is not the solution to everything. You can give people a whole bunch of money and they'll still act a fool. They'll still be claiming racism. Yeah, no. What is he possibly going to do? <laughs> you heard? Damn. What is he going to do? Is what I want to know. Still haven't seen a man. Is there a manager that works here or everybody's just a worker? 
all right, y'all. So <laughs> you get what you got with that. Now, I, I want to point out something, and we're going to wrap this up. But, <laughs> yo, so after that whole debacle that went on in the Gucci store with him on his uh, phone yelling and acting a fool, people had some backlash. People decided to say, well, why are you spending all this money in the Gucci store when you should be supporting black-owned businesses? You should be deciding who you shot with based on their skin color. That was the pushback that he got against him. Mentality. Check the mentality that you should be shopping at places that are owned by black people because of their race. Okay. I am all for shopping at black owned businesses as long as the businesses are offering something of value. But I wouldn't shop there because they are black. I would shop there because they offer great value. And if it happens to be a black person who owns it, the better for some people. That that's okay. People in China, they they want to shop shop with Chinese people. There are some white people who want to shop with white people. I, I just personally think that you should shop wherever you get the best value or where you want to spend your money at. And if you want to be decide that that race is what matters to you most when you go shop, I don't think it's smart and I don't think it's the right thing to do. But hell, it's your money. Freedom to choose to spend it however you please. But this is what Jim Jones had to say in response to this whole <laughs> backlash about him shopping with black owned businesses. All right. I got it right here. All right. I'm going to try to make this thing bigger so y'all can um, read what I'm reading. Uh, let's see. Let me get it. Huh. There we go. I know it can't be so big, but I'm going to read it to y'all. <clears throat> all right. So Jim Jones responded to all the haters, all the haters who say he's a shot black people, black on business. He said, please miss me with it. Please miss me with I need to support black designers because if it really if you really know me, then you know that's what I'm about. Jones captioned his IG post in which he gives a colorful weather report. My preference is my preference, and that preference is fly drip. Fly drip, everybody. That's what he's concerned about. His preference is fly drip. That means he wants the, the finest diamonds, the finest jewelry, the finest gold. That's what his preference is. That has no color to me, but when I do get some drip from a black designer, that is some fly drip. I get extra excited, and I can't wait to talk about it in my platforms. Okay, color. He said that has no color to me. So even he agrees with me. What he wants is the best. He wants the flyest. He wants the, the most value for his money. And there's nothing wrong with that. So even he can admit that, you know, you shouldn't be judging people by their race. You, you shouldn't be deciding who you're going to shop with because of their race. It, it, it's that simple. He Even he understands that. And I appreciate him for being honest about it. I apologize, everybody. Apologies. But even he agrees with it. So. With that being said, let me know in the comment section below, where is the racism? Please, please explain to me where the racism is. Thank y'all for watching. Please, please have a good day. Peace and glory, everybody. Be peaceful and be great. Till next time, y'all. Miss me with that race? I'm out. One in a million, a million, the one villain. Too hot to be in the kitchen. I'll end up melting the